Hi guys. They're all yours. Hello. So what holiday is coming up this month? Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. So what is one of your guys' favorite things to eat for Thanksgiving? Pie. Um, um. What? Pie. Um. Pie. Ooh. What about you're gonna fall? What about the side dishes we have with our main meal? What is your guys' favorite? Uh gun. What many? Corn? Corn? Oh yeah. yeah. We are gonna make stuffing today. Yummy. That's one of our favorites. So I'm just gonna get a pan like this. And I'm gonna put six tablespoons of butter in it and let it melt. I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see, but I'll show you. Hold on, please. Skittles. I know, he's singing his Skittle song. Okay, so I'm just putting in the butter right now. They've been off the hook today, so I'm sure they're going to be wild. <laughs> Four. Two more. Okay. So I have six tablespoons melting in my pan. Boy. I'm just going to move that out of my way. While it's melting, I'm going to cut up some onion, but I'll show you. Onion? 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 See, it's melting. Onion. My pan looks dirty, guys, but I promise it's not. Okay, I'm going to cut up an onion. So just one yellow onion. Shh. One yellow onion. Okay, quiet, please. You're just going to cut it up in little diced up pieces. What's your guys' favorite dessert for Thanksgiving? What's what? Banana pudding. Cheesecake. Pudding? Cheesecake. Vanilla pudding. Vanilla pudding. I'm not a fan of pumpkin pie or any of that. Me either. I don't really like pie at all. I like the crumb apple pie, but that's about it. You mean judge mm -hmm. apple pie? Yeah, but I don't really even eat pie, honestly. Even if that's there, I really I don't. A lot of people it. love it for Thanksgiving and uh, Christmas. Pumpkin pie. Yeah. What's another dessert you guys like to eat? Cherry pie. Cherry pie, okay. That's a popular one, too. What else? Anybody else? Anybody have anything like different that's not a normal Thanksgiving thing that they eat? Tamales. Ooh, those are good too. <laughs> you can have we like that. To do... You can have that for Thanksgiving or for Christmas. Yeah, we like to do Thanksgiving twice, honestly. We we um always end up making it like two, three weeks before Thanksgiving and then we make it again. Because nobody likes to wait for Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I just put my onions in. My eyeballs are burning, so excuse me while I cry. I'm just kidding. Uh, well, you run water on your eye. Woo, yeah, because the onion's burning my eyeballs. Well, put water okay, so now on. I have my salary. I'm going to rinse it off really quick. No. Rinse your eye, too. Oh. <laughs> when does we a new one? Huh? When does we a new one? I think I put a cup of this. I've made this before, but only a couple times, so I don't remember. So I got my little recipe thing here in front of me. So it says a cup of celery. Do you guys do like veggie trays and stuff for like your snacks before you eat on Thanksgiving? Yeah. 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 Those are like my favorite. 
but I never eat them until then. It's weird. Yeah, really. You eat them? Yeah, I too burning. Huh? Your eyes too burning? <laughs> no, it's going away. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna chop these up. And when you put them in the pan, you're just gonna wait till they get soft. And then we'll start adding everything else. You guys hear it crunch when I'm cutting it? Yeah. I hate onions. He hates onions. Yeah, I don't eat I think stuffing's a super quick and easy thing to make. It's so yummy too. Kyle, you almost fell off the table, you guys. Hey! So you're just cutting everything up right now? Yeah. Hey! I'm gonna go in. I think this is the last thing I had to cut up. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for joining Hi. us. Here's my cut up salary. It's a little bit more than a cup, but that's okay because we like salary over here. So I put that in. Garlic. It says to do three cloves, but I get this the garlic in the jar. I just feel like it makes my life a little bit easier. And I kind of just get a spoonful and put that, and then, because I like garlic, so. Oh, put a spoonful. Kind of looks like a lot, but it's so good. And then I'll show you guys the pan right now. What are we making? Stuffing. Mm -hmm. Homemade stuffing. Yum, yum. Okay. See it in that pot? It already smells super yummy, too. We're getting ready for Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. Yep. When I heard cooking class this month, I was like, oh, yeah, I got to make stuffing. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't take a couple minutes to get soft. So while well, that cooks. Ooh, that Who helps cook for Thanksgiving? Do any of you guys help your family cook? Yeah, I do. Well, what's your favorite thing to cook? The ham. The ham. Who likes cooking turkeys? I uh, like turkey. You don't? A lot of people don't. Turkey what sucks. A lot of people do. Hmm. I'm so not a turkey person. I'm not crazy about it. Me either. I mean, we don't eat turkey, so. Sometimes, right. some years we do, some years we don't. Yeah. If I do have turkey, I have to put a lot of gravy on it. All right. Dry, huh? Yeah. And so when you do your breadcrumbs, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can buy just a loaf of bread and put it in the oven. Stop, Jaden. Or put it in the toaster and get it like crunchy like you would toast. And you just cut it up into squares. But to make my life a little bit easier, I got, they have bags of, um, like they're like croutons but they're not seasoned so they didn't have those so i got this which it's seasoned and stuff but we're gonna add some more seasoning to it because it'll taste really yummy and just dump that in there at the end of it it'll get super soft and be really good i think my husband's gonna be really excited about this stuffing's his favorite so we're still waiting for it to get soft what frankie what's the what tea? He's at his house, probably taking a nap, unless Drew's on here. Is Drew on here? I don't think I've seen Drew today. Oh, actually, yes, I think he was. He was this morning? Yeah, he was this morning. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he might be taking a nap right now, but I'll tell him you said hi. Okay. Yeah. Let me show you. It's getting kind of bubbly. Drew is on here. Oh, he is on here. Where are you at, Andrew Moore? I can't get the picture up of him. Yeah, maybe maybe that's why I can't. I was like, I thought I see yeah. you guys. Frankie just wanted to say hi to Monty. That's all. <laughs> okay, we'll do. I think he's on the front porch. Hey, everybody. 
Done. Okay, so it's getting soft. You can even snack on it. Don't. Don't. What kind of things do you guys make with your Thanksgiving dinner? I know like Andrea said, like they do tamales sometimes. Anything different or unique you guys do? Yeah, um, we, we make a Portuguese dish with salted cod. It's salted cod that's flaked with potatoes mm -hmm. and oil wow. and grilled onions. It's really good too. It's a, Ooh, Portu cool. it's a Portuguese oh, tradition to make that at Thanksgiving. Stop. That's cool. Maybe we should have a Portuguese um, cooking class one day. I think Frankie can take over that one. There you go. All right, Frank? <laughs> Frankie's really good at taste sampling. He loves to eat. Yeah, I was going to say, he could probably be the sampler, huh? I never know. Hey, that's not hey. a bad thing. Being nice. the sampler is the best part, man. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm a sampler too, Frankie. I'm a sampler too. Yeah, mm -hmm. me too. I usually okay, get so kicked out of the kitchen, I, and I just end up getting, uh, end up with the dishes afterwards. Yeah, that's the good thing about being the cook. You can sample all you want, and nobody can tell you to stop. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can just say you're adjusting the seasonings. <laughs> exactly. You gotta make sure it tastes right, right? Okay, so... <laughs> So now I'm going to add the seasonings. So the seasonings that this one called for are. Emmy, you got to see the cooking. Thyme. I think that's how you say it. Mm. Brown sage. And poultry seasoning. So I'm going to add those. I'll tell you how much to add in just a second. OK. So for the poultry seasoning, it's one teaspoon. <laughs> Sammy, you want your own cat? <laughs> I see Katie's cat is just looking. He is so nosy. <laughs> <laughs> he has to be, everything she's doing, he has to be right there. <laughs> How funny. So one teaspoon of the poultry hey, seasoning. Hey, Katie. <laughs> I like your cat. Sprinkle that. I do look at A fourth teaspoon of the thyme. Thyme, thyme. I don't know how to say this, this one. I can even open it. Okay. Use your cheese. <laughs> well, that one had a little peel thingy on there, so that one was a little bit easier. But so, so a fourth teaspoon of that. This isn't really my favorite. I don't really care for the, the time, but at least it's only a little bit. Gives it a little Got flavor. And then a fourth teaspoon of ground sage. Did you get it open yet? Yes, that one I did. <laughs> okay, and now we're going to add that, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like before I mix it. I used to have a little stand that I could use for this and um, one of those phone holder go live things. I forget what they're called. But it broke. I broke it. That's how it is with all the seasoning. So I'm just going to mix that all in. Really the longest part for stuffing is just getting the veggie soft. I wish you guys could smell it though, because this smells so good. It smells like Thanksgiving. I wish I could smell it. Are you having for dinner tonight? Smells good. Kim? Are you having it for dinner tonight? I'm not because this isn't in my diet, but I'm sure my husband will. Oh. I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to have a bite or two, but. Oh, you want a bite or two? Bite or two, maybe four. You never know. Depends how good it is. Okay, so now that I did that, I believe I'm going to add the chicken broth. So I got a big old thing of it, and I don't think we need that much. 
I'm trying to read the recipe. Yes, it says one can. So, this is way more than one can. So now we're gonna have to do some math so we don't do too much and make it too squishy. Who likes soggy stuffing? Not me. Yeah, it'd probably be kind of gross, huh? That's not me. Okay. So now that that's all mixed up, I really think we're almost done, guys. Let me double check to make sure I'm doing what I need to do right. Okay. So now I'm going to add that. Honestly, I'm just going to put two cups. So we're going to pour it in here. And when you're cooking, it's always better to do a little less than a little more because you can't take out more if you put too much, right? No. No. Okay, so we'll let that simmer and get hot. Anybody want to know what the last step is? Do you guys have a guess? What do you think the last step is? We put the onion, celery, all of the seasonings, the chicken broth. We already put the chicken broth, which is like the water for it. What do you think's next? We have one step left. We did put butter in it too. We did, yes, I forgot. We put butter. Hi, Ryan. So once this chicken broth gets hot, we've got one step left. Oops. What else goes in stuffing? What do you guys think? The bread. No, no. The bread, the crumbs. Oh. Am I going to put a whole loaf of bread, just the big chunks of bread, or do I cut it up? Cut it up. Nice. Good job, guys. I'm just going to clean up a little bit. It is a point. Oh. Let it boil. Let me show you what it looks like. Hi, Terry. Sometimes I like to taste the Hi, juice, John. too. Hi, John. We want to make sure it's nice and hot so that it can make the bread nice and squishy mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. yummy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that tastes yummy already. Mm -hmm. Four minutes. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for it to kind of get bubbly a little bit more. This is only my third time making homemade stuff thing, too, guys. Mm. One year I decided I was going to go all out for Thanksgiving and cook everything myself homemade. It was a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. And then I made the turkey, so I had to get up every few hours to check on it. I was pretty tired. Yeah. So I decided I'm not on turkey duty anymore. Why? Because it's exhausting. You got to make sure it doesn't burn and it's nice and moist. <laughs> Okay, so the best way to cook your turkey, and it's super easy, is you cook it in a turkey bag, one of those oven bags. You yeah. can buy the store, and then I usually put in there in the belly, uh, in, in the cavity of the turkey, I put in like two sticks of celery that I've cut up. I mm -hmm. put in a, an orange or a half a lemon, mm -hmm. one or the other, whatever I happen to have at home, and then an mm -hmm. onion cut up into like quarters, and then you oh, nice. place in the plastic bag. Mm -hmm. um, you, you brush it with water and a little bit of water, yeah. and good. it comes out like magazine cover ready. I mean, it's nice, bald. and it stays nice. moist. It doesn't dry out. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I don't like turkey because I think most turkey that I have had is kind of dried up. Yeah. So if you do it in the bag, it's really easy. It's easy cleanup, and it always stays moist. Yeah. Nice. Thanks for the tip. Try that. Uh, I think once you do it that way, I don't think you ever go back. Although this <laughs> husband got a Traeger, um, one of those smokers, and oh, his, yeah. he's gonna try smoking one. So we'll Ooh, see. Frankie, you're gonna share that with us, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's kind of bubbly now. I'm gonna wait just a few more minutes. Make sure it's a nice and extra hot. Mm. Uh, 
So who travels for Thanksgiving? Does anybody travel? Well, this year we can't really do that, huh? But normally, does anybody travel? No. No? No. Me either. Okay. Who's ready for the final step? Okay. I'm just going to take this. Let me flip you. Dump that in. This one's really, really crummy, which I don't care for that part of it, but that's okay. It's still, it's how it tastes that matters, right? Yeah. Uh, so now I'm just going to mix it all together. And as I'm mixing it, it's going to soften up the bread. And if we need to add more bread, you can. And more. I I I nip. Hi, I nip. Ryan. There we go, guys. There's my stuffing. See how it looks nice and soft now? Yeah. That's how it should look when you're all done. Okay. What do you guys think? Nice. You're making us hungry. <laughs> well, now I got some of my dinner already done, guys. Uh, yeah. You want to make sure after you mix it all together, you turn the fire off, and you can just let it sit to like get all that liquid in. Cool. But it's pretty much done now, you guys. They're cool. Yes. You have more dinner, but that's your first dinner. Oh, this is just my first dinner. You like it? Mm-hmm. It's hot, but it's really good. Yeah, you, can you I must say, it? I'm a good cook. Yeah, you are. <laughs> but that's all I got, guys. Okay. That's all it is. Look at that. Yeah, good. It looked good. That looks mm -hmm. good. Wish now we could I wish taste I it. Wish we could get a sample. What? I, said, I wish we could get a sample. I know. It's so good. I remember a couple years ago, I made some for Shannon, and she literally sent me a video crying because she said it was so good. <laughs> Not bragging. I'm just saying. <laughs> awesome. So does anyone have any questions for Nicole? No. Any questions for Nicole? No. Nicole. Yes. Can you do that again or no? Can I do what? Make stuffing? They come for a try it. Hi, Andres. Can I what, Kim? Can we try it one of the days at program? If we do go back. Yeah, I would make it for sure. Okay. When we go back and we got our chef of the week coming up. We'll definitely, I have no problem making it. It's super quick and easy. You guys can help. That'd be great. Okay. Hi, Andre. Hi, Ryan. I, I asked No, that's yeah. totally fine. You can ask that, Kim. That's totally fine. We can definitely make it. It's okay. super cheap to buy and it's super easy to make. So I think it's probably one of the easiest Thanksgiving sides you can make, except for like so maybe the green thing. It. We have to buy it for program, right? For Chef of the Week, yeah. Remember, it's like five bucks, I think. Oh. But that's okay. It's still a while away. Yeah. So, so, so we do go back and we do go shopping. We could buy it. We'll see. Everybody has to agree. So we'll see. Okay. Jaden's in there, baby boy. You have to wait. All right. Well, thanks, Nicole. Thanks for sharing your recipe with us. No problem. It does look delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you guys for hanging out and sharing some of your stuff that you guys do for Thanksgiving. I like getting all the different things that everybody does and makes and enjoys. Mm. All right.